I like guitar picks. It's no secret, I've made multiple videos on them and I highly encourage you to experiment with guitar picks. In one of my previous videos, I showed off some guitar picks made by Patrick Hushmid and I use them for practice. I normally keep a selection of them on that app there for when I'm practicing. This is what I normally use when I'm practicing, a Black Galalith, Peak 1000, acrylic, Torlon, and just acrylic. Well, I received a surprise package in the post about a week ago from Patrick saying thank you for doing that video and he sent me some more guitar picks. So full disclosure here, the guitar picks I'm about to show you I received for free. Also part of that disclosure though is that I wasn't part of a deal to make a video about them, it was just he sent me guitar picks. But I wanted to do a video anyway because these are some really interesting ones. The control for all of these videos has been this same pick so it's not going to change now. This is the Dunlop 1.14mm Jazz 3 Tortex pick. It's the standard pick I've used in all the pick videos. So these are the five picks we're going to look at and we'll start with the most basic one. This is a 3mm Galalith pick, rounded on all three edges and it's probably the closest to a regular guitar pick out of the bunch because it's 3mm thick and that, while is thick, isn't extreme in comparison to like Dunlop stubbies or something like that. Another material that's quite nice visually is this acrylic pick, but this pick has three sides, one rounded, two pointed. So it's probably the most versatile out of the bunch and it's five millimeters thick. This also in thickness doesn't feel too different to a regular pick. Now we'll jump up in size to this massive 15 millimeter thick Ertilite pick. Ertilite is a thermoplastic that's used for a lot of industrial applications but the interesting thing about it is it's a self lubricating material. It does take some abrasion when playing but out of the bunch I think I'm using this the most for practice with because the size is quite comfortable for me. Not only that, you'll be seeing this again in another video that I'm going to do. A little while ago I wanted to do a lesson video and it was going to be mainly focused around the right hand technique and I wanted to show different picking methods and I couldn't get the right camera angle to show in detail what my right hand was doing because I was using a regular Dunlop pick which was thin and you couldn't see the pick. You could see my hand but you couldn't see the pick. <laughs> But because I couldn't improve on that camera angle, I scrapped the idea. But when I got this, because it's such a light colour and it's so big, I thought it might do the job to show what I wanted to show. So you can clearly see the defined movements of the pick. So I think I might revisit doing a lesson video on right hand picking uh, with this pick. Now this pick here probably doesn't look very exciting. It's a small 5mm Jazz 3 style pick nothing really special about it until you get a light. I'll do it in real time so you can see but I'm just taking this little LED torch and I'm just shining it on the pick. Nothing special about it and it only takes a few seconds. This pick is called the Huff Glow and uh, you can probably tell by the name it glows and that's only after a few seconds of this torch but if you put it in darkness it glows even more and it holds the charge for a really long time too. Here's me playing in a pitch black room with it. And now I've messed with the saturation so you can see on camera that it does light up at least some of your instrument which I think could be cool for music video applications and stuff like that. So I think that might be the most interesting pick out of the bunch. And moving on, to the biggest pick I've ever played with. In my thick pick video, I played a 16 millimeter thick pick. This is a 17 millimeter thick pick. And it could probably be argued that this is more art than a guitar pick because of the cast acrylic, it's so interesting and it moves in the light. But not only that, you take the torch and if you shine it on the middle center strip of the guitar pick, it's made out of the same material 
as the other guitar pick was. And it glows. So now let's hear these six picks in a different number of settings. So, distorted riff. <laughs> Personally, out of that, I think I prefer the acrylic pick. Uh, it's got like a, a brighter sound than the rest. Now let's hear how just straight picking sounds. <laughs> I don't know if I noticed too much of a difference between all the picks. There was a little bit of a difference with the hoof glow. Uh, I think that sounded a little bit different than the rest. And now let's just do a, a light overdrive kind of breakup sound. So out of that again, I think I personally prefer the acrylic sound, but let me know what you think. These are certainly luxury picks because they're priced in that market, but for certain applications, I can certainly see why I'd use them. Like with the pick pick, if you're trying to show right hand technique, or in fact, practice. I've been practicing a lot with pick picks because when you practice with a thick pick and you switch back to a thin pick, and maybe it's just me, but I feel a whole lot more control over the thin pick after. So I enjoy practicing with the thick picks and will continue to do so. But let me know what you think. Uh, personal favorites out of the bunch, sound wise is probably the acrylic and just out of the cool factor, it has to be the hoof glow and the thick pick with the hoof glow inside as well. All right, that's all from me. Thank you to Patrick Hushmid for sending me those picks and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.